Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss, everyone. And in fact, the ads are my lives. And I think that after I turn on the chat, I can even go a step further beyond and I can fiddle with it to get us over to live hello, chat. Hello, hello, Welcome to yes, Journey oops. Beyond the Abyss. Should not be watching my own stream. In fact, should completely close out my browser. All righty then. So, what were we doing? We were working on making us a thermionic fabricator. That's what we were doing. So, we just need to make us some heavy engineering blocks. I believe that was our next step. Well, nothing to it. Let's just make a couple. And that means making a couple of pistons. So, just, yeah, yeah, clear all that out. Well, we could, we could make some more. We could make some more. We have it all laid out. Might as well make a few extra. Ah, hello, Prince. Good to see you today. Alrighty then. I need copper. Yes. Get in there, you. Where's the other thing of... I could have sworn I picked up two stacks of plates. Ah, well, there might be some minor drips today just because I did not sleep very well, so I am very tired right now. But that's life. All right. Yeah, clear that all out. We've got some lovely supplies of everything today, so let's just start making use of them. Get some pistons together. If the game will let me. Through the lag. Alright. And... In you all go. Come on, wait. Keep up with me. Why do I still Oh it's the it's the it's the gears. Of course it's the gears. Always forget that gears weigh a ton. Okay, so with that, let's just take those eight. And we're going to need to turn those into some heavy engineering blocks. So that's just steel and steel mechanical bits. It might be time to make some more steel mechanical bits. Soon. Yeah, soon. It might be time to make some more steel. Soon. Yeah, soon. And let's, let's actually get going on that one right away. Yeah, I've got enough coal in stock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think it's already in ingot mode, so it's okay. If I just throw this in and leave it like that. Oh, it's in plate mode? Well, I wanted more mechanical bits anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's pour out a couple buckets of lava. That's probably enough. Just kind of keep this thing topped up and full. In fact, let's... Top up everything else. We can use those as liquid reservoirs for it. Where are we in quest? Yeah, we're just making that thermionic fabricator for the quest. Okay. And what are we doing? Right, right, right. We need bronze. We need... I need more electrum. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. It might be time to temporarily move the pump jack. Just for the sake of uh, getting some silver. 
Yeah, I should have a vein of liquid silver somewhere nearby. Somewhere. I had... One of these was liquid silver. Did I keep the vein in my archive? Maybe. Maybe. Jam on game. Crude oil, hard carbon, tin, silver, as well as kimberlite. Yeah, okay, well, let's get our pump jack moved over. Yeah, just move the whole dang system. We'll leave the power in place, but we'll move the tables. I, I guess I'll leave the pipe in place just as a marker of where this stood. Goodness, every single chest is lagging today. What is going on? Okay, that's nine. Where's the tenth? There's the tenth. Okay, cool. Yeah. I kind of wanted to move this one space forward anyway, just so that the redstone control is within the chunk. Hello, Blood Devon. You're always welcome here. Welcome to the stream. In fact, I don't think anyone so far is unwelcome. I don't know. Maybe we'll decide we don't like someone sooner or later, but not yet. Oh, come on. What am I? Okay, let's let's put down one of these. There we go. Yep, we're just moving the pump jack right now, Blood Devon. And getting us some silver. Because I needs it for my current project. So we might as well get all of it. Mm. No, I don't need to move the pumpkin patch. It's fine. So, learn from our previous tomfoolery and place ourselves one space within the chunk this time. And we're just going to need that, that, that. Well, we're going to need the whole dang thing. Get rid of those seeds. We really don't have any room in our inventory right now for anything else. I should have another block of steel. Where did it go? Did it get sucked up by a hopper? I shouldn't have left those hoppers, I guess. Yeah, um, hello, Ian. Hello. Yeah, I shouldn't have left those hoppers. And yeah, that's another block of steel in our favor, I guess. Let's just... No, let's not throw it out. I'd feel bad throwing it out. We don't need to cart it far. But yeah, I should have another block of steel. Where did it go? Hmm. 
There did it go. Oh. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to screw up the taste of hash browns. Well, I, I hope that the smoke is really worth it and not too bad. Because that, that smell will linger in your kitchen forever. Eh, where's my manual? Where's my manual? Did I toss out my manual? Did I put away my manual? Oh, boy. Today's off to a fantastic start, isn't it? There it is. Why would I put that away? We want that on our hand at all times. Well, stuff like this is why we are working on a thermionic fabricator right now. Just so that I never need to make that choice. So that we can start keeping everything on hand. Okay, so... Da -da. Yes, this is the chunk. Okay, so... It's one, two, three. Right here. One, two. Where's my light blocks? Three. And that just goes straight up. Yes. Okay, with the redstone on the opposite side over there. Yes. Okay. Yep, then the T of liquid pipes. <laughs> no, we didn't lose knockoff Clippy, Blood Devon. It's fine. Yeah, the smoke can be long gone, but uh, the smell will linger on, you'll find. I mean, that's just straight up from there. Yep. Oops. Right down like that. And that should be the pump jack assembled. Good. Now, lever, lever, lever. Where is the lever? In there. And let's go grab us our... <laughs> uh, clippy fan art, huh? Was it the one of him being bent into, like... One of the one of the little pieces of a paperclip art that one makes when they're very bored and enjoying it a bit too much. Because I've seen art like that. Pregnant Clippy. Oh, that's new to me. This sounds like a work of art for the ages that I must be exposed to for my own cultural enrichment. Okay, and then down there, make sure to mark that from down below, just so that I can keep track of it. Okay, and then that should, if I click with that, Ah, that's right. To make a pass through, I think grass blocks are incompatible with pla with pass through. So I need to switch it over to like dirt or something. Mm 
No, did I just get the wrong block? Hmm. What's the problem? Oh. It would help if I actually had it on both sides. Okay, there we go. Pass through, done. Now I just need to actually go get my excavator. Grumble again about why we need a bag. Hmm. Yep. It's words like that that make people say words like, uh, like depravity and, uh, and unholy and things like that, that that make them sound like a crusader in the modern age. Okay, now let's find a nice place in our utilidors to make that split. Hmm. Like right here. Okay, can I sneak under? Yeah, no, that would immediately cause problems. So we're gonna need to take down the relay here. And yes, apparently we have apparently invisible wires to sometimes worry about as a new hazard. But this is why we build it all underground whenever possible just so that its chicanery of rendering will never be a problem towards us. So, let's build a relay here, as well as rebuild the relay here. Reconnect our wires. Yeah. Yeah, that rendering error was designed to sucker you into, into this situation, I think. Even the game engine itself is actively working against me. Isn't that good to know? Oh boy. Well, we we found where the farm is. Let's just right there. Yep. Yeah, there will just be a space the utilidor that's a little bit lower for the sake of that. Maybe if I... Because I've burned myself one too many times throwing out all the dirt and then realizing I need to fill in a section of the ceiling just moments later. Okay, we're closing in on it. be somewhere. There we go. There we go. Okay, so. Right there is probably where we want it. As well as fill in the roof. Yes, we've managed to avoid licking the power cables this time so far. Let's see if we can avoid it all together. Ah, neat. Nice, smooth connection. Okay, can we sneak under this? Very careful and slow. Yep. Did I pick up the thing that I put the dirt in? Yep. Cool. Alrighty then. Now if I dupe to dupe and dupe to dupe, that should 
Is it unable to output without power? And then where's all my casting tables? No licking for now. Yes. Okay, so this one we don't want any gears on. We just... We just want to put this down. No, let's get a chest for it. Let's get a chest for it. Yes, I brought one. Good. Okay, and into there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Yeah, get those in there. And now load up with casts. Where's the gear casts? Are they still in the crate? Hello, 12th Century Fox. So, this time when I created the broadcast, I made sure to select the little box to schedule it. Admittedly, to schedule it for immediately, but it still was scheduled. Did that uh, properly announce the presence of the stream for you? Okay, something is broke along the line. Uh, is it just that I don't have any power in the system because the diesel engine is shut off? Is that the problem? Mm. It's been a long time since I made hash browns. Although I did recently make croquettes, Japanese style croquettes, and that was very good. And that's kinda hash browns. Mm hmm. Where's my voltmeter? Not on me. As always. Oof. Okay, we licked the power cable for good luck, too. But that did show that it had charge. Excellent. Excellent. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm seeing... Yep. I'm seeing silver for us right here. Okay, so the problem was just that... The problem was just that it had no power in the system. Okay. Well, 40 is enough for now. That should be enough. Just to get us by. Yes. Hash brown adjacent. In my storage system, it would be in the hash brown chest. Then again, in my storage system, I consider Lapis Lazuli to be ingots, and Redstone Dust to be ingots. So, uh, ingot adjacency is kind of a broad term. Okay, sort all that away. And your more machine block. Proper blocks. Intermediaries. Ingots. Okay. Intermediaries. And just keep everything on me for now because we'll be sorting it away soon enough. Okay, did I get anything in here? Just some dirt. Okay. Oh. Still didn't empty it out fully? Right, the gears. The gear cast. We should put that in miscellany for the moment. Well, you're hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I literally, like, crawled out of bed, realized I overslept, and rushed to get a stream going. Just so that I could put something out today. 
Okay, let's crush up some gold. Eighteen. Twenty-seven. Thirty-six. Forty-five. Crush up some extra. Ah, right, right, right. Well, if you're gaining your t sense of taste already, that must mean that your your uh, unfortunate case of the coof is feeling a bit better. That's good to hear. That is wonderful news in my book. Right. I miscalculated how much... It must have poured out additional iron before it could finish casting all that steel. So let's clean out the smeltery. Turn that off. Switch it back to ingot mode. And... Once that's done, just throw in as much silver as we can in the meantime. So going through the steel will give it some time. Hmm. More than 19 blocks of steel. So then, did I throw in too much coal? Did I throw in like an extra stack by mistake? Hmm. Regardless. Actually, before I cast it into blocks, let's cast a couple of goes of steel mechanical components, which is to say steel plates. Uh, you saw a red X because I had my uh, shulker box put down and it was partially blocking the light. That's why it, it was just because something was on the floor. Because right now, the glowstone blocks are covering the darkness pretty exactly. So any interruption to the light pattern can be hazardous. Yeah, Blood Devon has the right of it. Okay, that's probably enough of those. Now we can just set and forget it onto ingots and cast everything out. Because, yeah, I don't want Electrum plates. They might be mildly useful, but not really. Okay, and let's just... Turn all of this into components. And... There we go. As well as whatever steel plates we made. And get all those ingots out of there. You see bees? Where? I don't see bees. And I'm the one who would have the PTSD flashbacks to them here. Okay, that's just a few components. Okay, so... Da, 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 you can put these away in miscellany. Now... No, 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 no. Right, I'm making Electrum. Let's switch it over to Electrum real quick. Is it still mixing? Good lord. Slow process. Yeah, when, when did you see bees? I didn't pass by any, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. BTSD, God. Why didn't I think of that? That's brilliant. Okay, let's let's turn off the pour for a moment just to let the electrum completely mix. But the long and the short of it is that we got a little bit of it out now. And that's just what I needed. So, 10 electrum. Eight of those. Bunch of those. And that'll... We also need the steel mechanical components that we just made some more of. And some good old-fashioned steel. And that will make us lots of heavy engineering blocks to enjoy. All right, and now we just need to make that casing. Okay, so that's going to be four light, four redstone, one heavy. And... Then is going to be a bunch of bronze. It might be time to make some more bronze. Hmm... But, yeah, also some bronze ingots. Really? When, I mean, uh, I, I guess I'm not the only one who played through regrowth, but uh, what's your experience with the bees? Did you play through a quest pack with them? I think the only quest pack I've ever seen that required bees was Exoria. All the others is kind of an alternate path to infinite resources. But here we go. Okay. So Thermionic Fabricator. Yeah, we got the most complicated bits of it done. Now I just need to... Okay, so that looks like... 12 tin. Do I have any straight up tin? Just in ingot form? I don't think I do. So let's melt down all of our tin gears and ingots. Yeah, nothing in here that'll alloy with it. Get the pour going again. Really? You, you've you attempted beekeeping in real life, or are you just talking about being stung or uh, something? I have nothing but respect for real life beekeepers. That really does look like an interesting hobby. Okay, get Y. Okay, what's going on here? Pause. Re re go. Yeah, this is a little bit janky for whatever reason. Hmm, it looks like it's desyncing these two out of the. Well, regardless. Regardless. We'll eventually upgrade this to a better system. Mmm. It, it, it does it does have some compelling factors if you're into the whole genetics angle of it. It was fun when I was doing regrowth. It was fun attempting to breed the poison out of jungle bees. That was a little bit fun. But it just took so long and was so... It was such an idle process. I think if I had it going as a background project, it would be one thing. But it would also be distracting me from all my main projects because it had to be checked in just frequently enough to be distracting. Preventing me from doing anything else. Okay, do I have any sand in storage? Yes, I do. Let's just run that through the kiln. Hey, Riley, good to see you. Good to see you here. We're just finishing up on finally getting that thermionic fabricator. Chest. Yes, it is in there. 
Okay, finally a bit of advancement for us. Isn't that lovely news? Alright, let's just put this right here for now. Give it the old connector. I don't think there should be anything within its path. Just kind of... There we go. Now, the Thermionic Fabricator is a bit of a special little baby. It needs a specific type of... It, it needs not only the goods, just like a carpenter, but it also needs glass. And I can't just chunk it up with blocks of glass. It can't melt that itself. It needs liquid glass. And more than that, it needs... It needs specific forestry melted glass. I'm still using LV indoors. I haven't uh, I haven't run the cable over to the base just yet. But yes, um, it can't just use liquid glass straight out of the smeltery. You can't just pipe it over. You need to give it panes of glass. It is a pain. So we need to melt some glass for it. But thankfully, because we're doing liquid glass in that case, we can uh, do this old trick to gather up sand relatively quickly. Because even though I can't identify the sand, I can still melt it. Oh, too quickly? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I've been I've been remiss in getting the cables all the way inside. But um I don't need them for any of the machines I have inside. Not even the crusher. I actually I tested it in uh in creative mode using um what's it called? A current transformer. And do you know how much RF it takes to run a crusher? It takes eight RF, eight flux per tick to run the crusher. It costs nothing. That surprised me. So yes, I've got no reason to run my base on anything else than the windmill just yet. The thermionic might change that. Yeah. Well, eventually, eventually we will either move the um, excavator onto a silt vein, or I will just build another excavator. Yeah, 8 RF per tick runs you a crusher. Try it. Get yourself a uh, get yourself a current transformer. You can't afford 8 RF. God, you are running some tight margins over on your on your base, aren't you? Wow. Yes, I do have an excavator right now. It's sitting on a cinnabar vein. The excavator was, um, let's see here. The stream before last, we built the parts for it. And last stream, we built, we, we unboxed it. And it is just sitting over, it's sitting over on our nearby cinnabar vein. Just right on back there and running it for like just 10 minutes or so got us uh, an almost problematic amount of redstone. Yep. So need to figure out what to do about that. So turn that off, and let's get some glass melting. I can also throw this in here. Oh boy, our our random block storage is filled up. Oof. Okay, and I think I can just cast this out of here. 
if there's a little bit of waste, then there's a little bit of waste. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, while we're doing that, we can uh, catch up our quests. So, I do have some treated wood in storage. Do I have any treated wood sticks? I do. Alrighty then. Oh boy, some more copper. Exactly what we needed right now. Such a useful reward at this time. You're right, I do need to make some more charcoal. Thank you. Let's get that casting and let's get on that. Oops. Uh, where is... Okay, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That clears out some space. But not really because I want to reserve that space for more Sequoia. And let's get her running. Then again, well, maybe I don't need as slightly much more coal as you might think if you're worried about steel. Uh, I know that you are probably worried about sulfur for a future project, but for steel, which would be my more immediate concern, I actually have... If I can build myself two more pump jacks, I could make myself an automated steel refinery right now. Because I have a vein of liquid iron and a vein of liquid coal right next to each other. Yeah, I think I'm going to start storing up ash once more because... I don't think there's an easily, fully automatable source of it, and I will want to have some of it in stock. Yeah, even with that ash pile, I want to have some of it in stock. Okay, now we have a nice stack of glass panes already casted out for us, and we can put that away in here. It goes in this slot. Now, to make us a backpack, we're going to need eight of this woven cloth, which is just gonna need string and an impregnated stick. And an impregnated stick, that's gonna need seed oil. Hmm, in a carpenter. Okay, so if we need a squeezer. But that is why I make more than I need because of situations like this. So, we need four more light engineering blocks. We need four more of these. We need one of these. And then we need 12. I think this might be our last 12 straight up bronze. We do have a few more blocks in storage though. And that should make our sturdy casing. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that before I start making my constant resource income, I'm going to want to start building up my platform, and I'm going to want to start... Um, I'm going to want to start... Like building the proper storage system for the main bus base. So for that, I'm going to need to make a couple block breakers to get the cobble gen going. Because I'm not going to buy all that cobble from the Normans. Ah, shoot, we need more bronze. We need more bronze. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... Let's see here. We have tin out already. Let's just clear out as much of this as we can. Why do glass panes weigh so much? 
I don't think glass blocks weigh that much. Okay, so... Let's see here. One... Two... Three... No, wait. And in that case, I would want... 60 of those, yes. Just build us lots. Turn that off. Put it back on ingot cast. Yeah, that's Minecraft physics. Well, then again, we are we are in a world where we can hide mass from being affected by physics simply by keeping it in our other pants. We're in a world where where shulker boxes will hide weight from from uh, reality too. So it's it's just physics are strange in this world. Just in general. Gravity is a bit of an option. An optional force. Electromagnetism works a bit wonkly when you look at it too. Just the, the physics... This world makes physicists cry. Is the long and just sort of it. Okay, so... How you doing? Yeah, I really need to let that mix... Mix up just a little bit more before I start pouring it out. I suppose that while that's going... Yeah, I could be making some more... I could use some more light engineering blocks. So, just those. As well as those. 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 I gather up all that copper that's just laying around here. Okay, so... Replenish our supply a little bit. That should do for a little while. Okay, that might be enough to pour it for a little while. Have to keep an eye on it, though. Make sure that we don't completely... Yep, we need more of everything. Well, we're, we're approaching the point where we can start having just income of everything. We are getting closer to that point. Day by day, machine by machine. Right now, the serious projects that we need in order to start getting everything is we are going to need a cobble gen in order to start building a platform because we are going to need space. I'm going to need to build a build craft fuel refinery in order to get gates because we are going to need logic. And... Wait. I need this. I need squeezer. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have thrown out all the tin. Okay, well, well, well. We can fix this. We can fix this real quick. We'll end up with a little bit of copper left in the system, but it's fine. Well, it's not logic in the sense that most people use it. It's logic in the sense of uh, logic gates. Yes, we need build craft gates in order to do things as effectively as I want to and prevent things like item overflow and problems like that. Okay, so what am I missing? Just some glass. We can swing some glass. 
Actually, can I use this glass? I can. Let's use that glass, because Minecraft glass is a bit more precious. There used to be that there was a way to convert Tinker's glass to Minecraft glass. Not in JVTA, just in general. Hmm. I don't think it can be chiseled. Yeah, no, it can't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. We have a spammer in chat. Hello, bot. Well, that means that, uh, that means that we are starting to get the attention of people. That's, that's wonderful news, I suppose. Hold on, let me, I don't have a moderator, so I need to, oops. Hmm. I need to open that up. And hello, bot. You are, uh, let's see here. Add moderator, hide user on this channel. I guess hide user on this channel. There we go. There we go. That did it. Sorry about that interruption, everyone. Hey, no, it's fine. It's fine. The fact that we are worthy of being spammed is an indication that this channel might be going somewhere, you know? As far as I'm concerned, that's all good news. Ah, neat. No, wait, that's not where I'm storing those. I'm storing those in here. Okay, so squeeze R. And from there... Just give it an LV for right now. Now the squeezer we want a little bit high up because we're going to be using it to fill barrels. So put it one space up. And it's fine. Okay, so in order to make impregnated sticks, I need... Two pieces of wood and seed oil. Seed oil I get from just any old seeds, like you would think. So, who knows? Who knows? Personally, when I see spam that ineffective, I get suspicious that it's a money laundering operation. Like someone is paying those spam bots for quote unquote clicks. But uh, they just need to be seen doing something to try to accomplish clicks. Either that or it's, uh, they're looking for really active chats where messages are scrolling by at a million times a minute. Oh, wait, I pinned a, I pinned a quest for some reason. There we go, that's better. And they're, they're just looking for people to accidentally click on them while messages are scrolling by at a billion times a second. And with the volume that they put out, even one in a billion times working, that's still getting them, like, a couple hundred clicks a day, I imagine. Which, if one person accidentally views a website and goes like, Oh, hey! That looks interesting. Then maybe that's enough. Or, you know, even if it's, even if it's just a matter of them getting infected with a virus from that misclick. That's also a way of making money. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's either money laundering or it's fishing for misclicks, I think. Okay, so there's our seed oil coming out. And do I have an empty barrel right here? No, I don't. Ow. Do I, in fact, have an empty barrel anywhere in this space? Not looking like it. Well, let's make a new one. They're cheap. Need more lava. And there we 
we go. Let's just... No, I can't make both sets. Darn. Oh, well. Oh, I had some in here. Oh, well. Right, and I'm also going to need... Do I have any seared bricks? I have exactly enough. Well, again, I can survive one hit from the fun cables. And if I were upgrading to the fun cables, I would lay out my machines in a less um, problematic manner. But yeah, just a little bit of seed oil get into that barrel. In fact, if I can save up a whole bucket of it. Eh. No. Okay, so how much do I need for just some impregnated sticks? I need only 100 per, and I have 500. It would waste a little bit, but at this point, it would be probably the least waste we're going to see. Just if we make it all into these impregnated sticks. Yeah, unfortunately, this is what we need to do to move sub-bucket amounts right now, because we don't have a pipe at. I think I should be able to get a pipe at right now. Yeah. The thing that I think I was waiting on is I needed these fiber meshes, which need a bunch of electric oil and uh, lubricant. Okay, so. But yeah, I don't feel terrible just wasting 30 millibuckets of seed oil. Oops. Yeah. We'll just declare this a seed oil bucket for future purposes. Okay, so. Ow. Yeah, the other thing is, it would be helpful if we didn't have to be constantly picking up the carpenter to, to empty it out. But, that's life. So, now we need these impregnated sticks in here. And where is the cable? So now we need some string. I need more string than that. Good thing that we just made a bunch of twine. And I think that, yeah, if I just do this. Hmm. Actually, is there any other recipe for this just yet? Uh, I could out of wool, and I could make that in the carpenters just out of industrial hemp fiber with water. But unfortunately, I already cooked all my hemp fiber, so just need to do this for right now. And that's going to take, what, lava? Let's see here. Backpack. Needs these tough woven cloths. Needs... Oh, wait. This isn't the thermionic. Of course. Of course. Silly me. What was that hurt sound? I think I licked a power cable. Okay, now see, it says needs liquid, but it's also heating up now. Yeah, it's heating up in order to melt the glass. And once it does that, it'll start producing very quickly. Yeah, there we go. And unfortunately, the thermionic fabricator only produces one unit at a time, and you have to have it on a hopper or something like that. But it's, it's difficult for automation in general. And it's still heating up, you see? It's retaining its heat in order to retain the liquid glass. I would need a lever to manually shut this off, and it will constantly suck down power otherwise. So this goes back into... And in fact, let me, let me do that. I should have a lever somewhere in stock. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. So if I give this a lever, then it'll start cooling down and it will no longer be sucking down RF per tick, I don't think. It shouldn't anyway. Yeah, disabled by redstone. Okay, well, regardless, regardless. So, backpack. Remind me again what you cost, as well as impregnated stick. Okay, cool. And just a little bit of water. Okay. Why you know. Woven cloth, impregnated stick. Oh, you're disabled by redstone, of course. Silly me. Need to be like right here instead. No inventory space? What are you talking about? You you have inventory space. Eh, oh. But where did Where did my woven cloth go? Where did the woven cloth go? What the what the heck happened here? Did I put it away? Oh, it made one? Oh. Oh, of course. I'm blind. Thank you. Well, here we are. Backpack. I am obviously far too tired to be streaming. The backpack has the same space as a chest, it's just that unlike the choker box, we don't need to put it down. And I think that makes it perfect for tools. So all the tools that we don't use all the time, I can finally put those away. And I guess we don't use bucket all the time. We don't use manual all the time. Um, yeah, as well as our voltmeter. I guess the wire cutters are technically a tool because you can use them to strip the uh, you can use them to strip the wires off of a relay or connector without taking down the connector itself. And da, 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 any other minor tools that I want to carry with me? None that I can think of at the moment. Uh, I guess we don't use our money all the time, and we don't use our shulker boxes all the time. Yeah, this is looking more reasonable. Uh, we don't use our fire starter all the time. Yeah, we have an even cleaner inventory now. Huzzah. All right, so. So, so, so. It is getting on in time, and I am obviously a bit too tired to continue on right now because, again, I had a very early start today. I've got to go make breakfast for the household pretty soon, so this is looking like a good time to end the stream now that we have a lovely new toy, and we even have some quest advancement today, and I can very easily make these other advancements later on too. So, this has been a very fun day, and thank you everyone for showing up. Thank you 12th Century Fox, Blood Devon, Ian, Prince if you're still around, I saw you drop in very briefly at the beginning. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Have a beautiful day. Have a lovely evening. And next time, we will probably be starting on making some block breakers, I think. Yes. Uh, and Riley, of course. Thank you, Riley, if you're still in. Yes, thank you, everyone. Yes. This will be our project, our next project. We need to make these block breakers. And for that, we are going to need to figure out the cog dance once more. Possibly for the last time. Yes, it might be time to make our first automation of an annoying craft. Making all these cogs. That sounds like a plan. Next time on JBTA, I'll see you all around. Good night, everybody.